Alpha Chad's face. I'm the dominant male in any social circle. This is a $1,200 shirt. Chad life. Ugh. Money, power, respect. I actually, well, I didn't bring my wallet with me at the moment, but sort of tapped out on that St. Bart's trip, to be honest, unfortunately. Um, but I do have a lot, just not with me. Sorry. You see the alpha's here and the beta's here. Amazon employees go to the bathroom when I tell them to go to the bathroom. Here's your toilet. I have Leonardo DiCaprio's number on speed dial. I would describe myself as a high value male. Hey, hey, you can't hate on a man who's living his best life. Super villains need to villain. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Radowski here, bleardchange.org. And we got a lot of absolutely crazy news to get in from all the way around the world. As of course, there is a massive uprising and some very serious situations developing in the world. Some even providing some hope, especially with the bombshell announcement coming out of Australia that has some severe major implications that we're going to be talking about in this video plus a lot more but before we do the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is of course by the one and only amazing ryan long with his latest video portrayal of jeff Bezos. The portrayal was absolutely right on the money. If you want to watch the full video, the link, of course, is down in the description below. He does absolutely incredible work. He absolutely does deserve a follow. And if you criticize Mark Zuckerberg, you get zucked on Facebook. What happens when you criticize the Bezos and the CIA-connected Washington Post monopoly of businesses? Well... I don't know. I'm asking you. Let me know down in the comment section below. As we're learning that Amazon workers were extremely disappointed after they were ghosted by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez congresswoman who promised to be there at their protest but bailed on them last minute, which left the chief Habibi Siraj Hashmimi saying, of course, that they really just wanted to date her, leaving the chief Habibi Sarij Hajmi saying in response to this that the Amazon are just angry because they really just wanted to date AOC. And as Amazon takes over the online digital space more and more every single day, we could at least rest assured that they're helping finance and organize a lot of the fact checkers out there that of course are making sure that the establishment narrative and talking points don't go questioned. As in yesterday's video, we talked about how there was a major push in unison by corporate media speaking together saying that there's no mass formation psychosis since you know propaganda doesn't work because we told you it doesn't work and now shifting focuses just a little bit before we get into the latest protest and aoc news we have some very interesting foreign policy news as of course the u.s secretary of state anthony blinken just came out and said that nato has never promised not to admit new members into, of course, its National Security Alliance. This as the United States has promised Russia that it would not expand its alliance. Now the United States is saying that it never happened, leaving the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, not very happy to, to say the least, as Russia has officially responded, calling Americans, quote, robbers and another word we can't use on this platform. All of this as global tensions rise between Russia and the United States with yet another proxy war right now developing in Kazakhstan as Russian paratroopers are now aiding Kazakh government officials with the U.S. Secretary of State now claiming that they are going to find it difficult getting those Russian troops out of there. Yet another day and another proxy war with, of course, huge scale implications and dangers. All of this as the U.S. Navy has just announced that they are adding two additional weeks of training to their recruits in boot camp. That's going to be focusing on woke ideology related topics, as well as some other adult rated topics that we can't get into. And I think it's fair to say that the United States is doing the opposite approach of what a lot of its counterparts are doing, especially in Russia and China. Now, before moving on, of course, there's a lot of topics and issues that we can't even address here on this very platform, but we can on our own platform called LukeUncensored.com, where we will be releasing yet another video later on today, specifically about this latest new variant, some major surprising bombshells by the CDC 
that have grave implications that I think is related to some foul play that we're going to be learning about in just a little bit, as well as, of course, the latest tragic events surrounding Bob Saget. All those issues discussed in a real, authentic, unscripted, uncensored way, exclusively available to you on LukeUncensored.com, where, of course, we also have three masterclasses available for you for free that you get just by signing up. Hope to see you there later on today. Click the link to find out more. Now, as as Jeff Bezos is living his best life on his multi-million dollar yachts being serviced by, of course, masked individuals, as of course he dons his Speedos totally maskless, it's important to note here that there's some people living their best life and others Not so much, as of course they're forced to comply with government mandates and whims that a lot of government officials don't follow themselves, essentially complying and putting themselves in more precarious situations. This, as some people realize, that the future of this world will fully suffer the consequences of their obedience. And that's why some people are protesting, especially in the Western world, in Europe, where we have seen the most draconian, totally backwards totalitarian policies being implemented that, of course, promote segregation and discrimination on individuals that, of course, rob them of any human decency. This is especially true in France, where the president there has knowingly passed a law that prevents testing and natural immunity to be acknowledged a part of a surveillance domestic passport system that just passed in that country with of course the French president Emmanuel Macron former Rothschild banker also specifically saying that he wants to piss people off who haven't complied who he doesn't even see as citizens and before going back to France in just a little bit that these protests I have to acknowledge are very significant there's a large portion of the population participating in them especially if you consider the amount of people that are coming out in the midst of winter. And whether you're looking at Quebec, Canada, or Vienna, Austria, you have to acknowledge that this is a significant event that definitely deserves to be talked about as a lot of people are expressing their grievances towards a system that is not representing them more and more by the day and imposing their will and trying to limit their life as much as they can. Now again, it looks like a lot of people had had enough that they don't want these policies, that these policies are absolutely not just unpopular, but according to some medical professionals, absolutely not backed by any kind of data or information that is convincing to, of course, even the scientific community. In France, of course, there was major confrontations between the police forces that got very confrontational and aggressive between protesters and authorities. The situation quickly got out of hand, as in other parts of France, politicians literally had trash thrown on them who, of course, supported these domestic passport systems. And as more people are starting to stand up for their own personal liberty, their own freedoms, their own future, there also has been a recent victory, according to many of these protesters, as, of course, an internationally famous tennis star, Novak Djokovic, was just freed from detention after a legal battle win in Australia. Now, this is a very important case that deserves our attention, as, of course, Novak Djokovic is an international celebrity. He's deemed in some accolades as the number one tennis star in the world, and because of medical reasons, he cannot comply with big pharma and big government with their whims on what they want him to do. He has two separate medical boards that approved a medical exemption for him personally. He applied for a visa in Australia to be a part of the Australian Open. The Australian government said, yes, we approved it. Come on in. And then upon his arrival, he was interrogated for eight hours, detained, had his personal items confiscated and put away in a government detention hotel that is known for being an absolute crap hole where some people have said that they are being mistreated in. This this hypocrisy, this flippant, tyrannical behavior by government officials telling you to come in, telling you everything's going to be fine, and then treating you like crap has, of course, received international condemnation, as, of course, people were pissed off at the government lying here 
punishing someone for, of course, having a medical exemption. As many people have theorized that this was done deliberately by the Australian government to show how much power they could impose on even international superstars when it comes to, of course, pushing the narrative and agenda that, of course, they prioritize so much over the lives of innocent civilians. And because of this, many people have started to protest in Serbia, in Novak's home country, in Australia, and in other places around the world. This has garnered a lot of very negative media attention for the Australian government that clearly lied here. And Novak was put in front of a judge in Australia where he won an appeal to overturn the government's cancellation of his visa. He is allowed into Australia. He has been released from detention as, of course, his two separate medical boards approved medical exemptions have been officially recognized as they were before. And a court has ruled that the government was absolutely in the wrong with this entire situation. He is now free to play in the Australian Open. That decision is still up to him. As many people are calling this an absolutely humiliating loss to the government as the Australian government is claiming that that, had, that they, quote, had a procedural error. <laughs> yeah, sure. This, as Australian officials in disgrace, tried to cover up this entire situation to the point where even hashtag Australia has fallen was trending in some parts of the world as now Jokovic took on the system one and he's going to have the opportunity to play in front of a regime that absolutely hates him. And of course, defiance to the police state that rules their country. This is pretty significant, a major victory, and deserves to be recognized. If you believe so, share this video with your friends and family members that it's more important than ever because there are some politicians here in the United States that would love to implement Australia's policies here in the United States. One of the most fervent supporters of restrictions, of lockdowns, of mask mandates has, of course, been AOC that recently just went down to Miami to party. And even though she has complied with the procedure three times, has just tested positive for this sickness. This, as other politicians like her, like the new mayor of New York City, are literally implementing mandates for small school children going to public schools in absolutely absurd, uns unscientific ways that deserve to be debated. Will they be? Absolutely not. Big tech even prevents the conversations from, from happening. But of course, that's why we have our own platform, which we're going to be talking about Specifically, Bob Saget in just a little bit on LukeUncensored.com. I hope to see you there for a bigger, broader, more open and honest conversation that we can only have on that platform. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. This is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on WeAreChange.org.